Hey guys, it's Fish Our Beast, and today I'm going to teach you how to care for Neon Tetras. Neon Tetras are uh, a very... Okay, first off, let me tell you that my camera is about to die. If it dies, I'm sorry. If it don't, great. Okay, so everyone wants neons. Like, I don't, I don't know who's ever not wanted a neon, but whoever like liked them, I don't know. Alright, so the scientific name of the neons are para... Okay, well, I'm just going to butcher this one. Para Schneerdona Don Ionesi. That's about it. <laughs> and uh, they like to be in the pH about 5 to 7. In the hardness of the water, uh, like 1 to 10. Be good. Let me get a better view of these babies. Ah, crap, my leg. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, they, they're a great community fish. They'll go good with about any fish that's not aggressive, or they can fit them in their mouth. And um, they grow up to around one inch. Um, I've never seen any of them over an inch. These I don't know. These are about like a little bit three fourths of an inch right now. I've had them for about ten days. And um, they can be kept with plants. That's another good thing with people that want planted tanks. Um, I if. Just cause they're supposed to be, they're supposed to be kept in uh, groups of five or more. Cause if they're not, if they're not in groups of five or more, then they just aren't really good fish. You need to have them in schools. I have mine in a ten. Um, oh crap, my camera's out today. And uh, you be kept in schools and um, no less than five. So I'd say about ten gallon mat or less. There is the um, least amount you want to put them in. I feed my flakes, and you can feed them brine shrimp. Feed them no more than once a day. In the morning, when you turn the lights on, you'll see that they're really pale. That's normal, and they're like act swim really weird. It's normal. Just don't worry about it. Mine do that every day. And then, like ten minutes later, they'll all be in a group swimming around. And uh, if you want to know about breeding, check out Ross's one of Ross's videos. I asked him about how to breed them a while ago, and I'll put a link in the description for that. And, uh, if there's anything else I didn't mention, oh, I got something right here. I forgot to mention the temperature. Uh, 79 degrees to, like, 79 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's the temperature. And if there's anything else I missed, guys, I'm trying to make this fast and my camera's about to die, please leave a comment and, uh, tell me and I'll answer them for you guys. Give you a nice view till my camera dies here. You can see that one of them's really aggressive. It's just they're on the school now because, like, he'll stay on like say the side and he'll like push them all onto that side. And there's these two big ones and they have like I don't know. I think they're I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like there he is right there. I think that's him. The one that's mean. Check out that corkscrew veil. Yep, that's about it. Just giving you a full view of the tank. See, you can see them back there. And they have the nice blue line through them and the red. Not, don't get them mixed up with cardinal tetras. Cardinals have the full red in the bottom and the blue line. And uh, I can tell the difference between male and female. So uh, the male have a straighter line, and the female will have more of a curvy line. Like the male will be like that, the blue line, and the male or the female will be like like that. Look at the nice blue line. I think I'll feed mine some freeze-dried brine shrimp today. See if they like it. Hey, till next time, guys.